A Bronsted-Lowry acid-base reaction involves the transfer of a proton from an acid, which is a proton donor, to a base, which is a proton acceptor. This forms species known as the conjugate base and the conjugate acid. The position of equilibrium can be determined in one of two ways. One option is to compare the relative stabilities of the base and the conjugate base. An alternative option is a comparison of the pKa values of the acid and the conjugate acid. Equilibrium lies with the more stable base and the weaker acid. In this generic mechanism, an acid, HA, is donating a proton to a base, B-. The base is utilizing its lone pair of electrons to form a new bond to the proton being transferred. As a result, the pre-existing HA bond is cleaving and those red electrons are falling onto A. This yields a conjugate base, A-, in which A now owns the red pair of electrons, and a conjugate acid, BH, in which the green electrons have been used to make the new BH bond. In general, the more polarized an HA bond is, the stronger the acid will be. The base needs to have a lone pair of electrons or a pi bond that can serve as the actual basic site. It's important to note that the specific acid could be neutral, or it also could be positive, and the specific base used could be negative, as shown here, or it could also be neutral. Here's a specific example in which a carboxylic acid and an amine undergo Bronsted-Lowry acid-base reaction. The amine is using its lone pair of electrons to form a new bond to the proton of the carboxylic acid. As this occurs, the oxygen-hydrogen bond dissociates and the red electrons collapse onto the oxygen, forming a carboxylate as the conjugate base and an ammonium ion as the conjugate acid. It's a lone pair of electrons on the amine that acts as the base in this particular reaction. The products are favored by approximately 10 to the fifth because the conjugate acid is the weaker acid as shown by its higher pKa value. In this specific example, sulfuric acid is protonating an alkene, or a species with a carbon-carbon double bond. In this instance, it's a pi bond that is serving as the basic site, and these green electrons are being used to make the new bond to the proton donated from sulfuric acid. The conjugate base is bisulfate, and the conjugate acid is a carbocation. Carbocations are relatively high energy species, so it is unlikely that this conjugate acid is the final product. More likely, this is an intermediate in a longer reaction sequence, such as the hydration of an alkene. When a lone pair of electrons serves as the base, regiochemistry or the location of protonation is not an issue. When a pi bond serves as the base, in theory, the proton could be added to either of the two atoms involved in that double bond. In simple situations, Markovnikov's rule is a useful mnemonic to arrive at the more stable ion. And Markovnikov's rule tells us that the carbon of the alkene with more protons will acquire the new proton. So by protonating on the terminal carbon of this particular alkene, we make a carbocation that is tertiary and is more stable than if we had protonated on the internal carbon of the alkene. It's important to note that conjugation can be a complicating factor. The more stable carbocation will typically be the one that has resonance delocalization. So in the following specific example, 
if we were to follow Markovnikov's rule and protonate the carbon of the alkene that has more hydrogens, we would actually end up with a carbocation at this location, which would not enjoy resonance stabilization. Instead, in this instance, the alkene is protonated here so that the carbocation that results is conjugated to the benzene ring and is therefore more stable. In summary, Bronsted-Lowry acid-base reactions involve proton transfer, and they play a role in many organic reactions. Acidic protons result from polarized bonds. Basic sites necessitate a lone pair of electrons or a pi bond that can be used to make the new bond to the proton that's being transferred. Equilibrium favors the more stable species, and these will be the more stable base and the weaker acid. The preceding was an excerpt from Introductory Organic Reaction Mechanisms, a color-coded approach to arrow pushing. If you found this helpful, you may be interested in checking out the complete book, which is available in ebook format from Scribd, and also in paperback format from Amazon, or from Lulu at a discounted price.